sphingolipids, or glycosylceramides, are a class of lipids containing a backbone of sphingobases, a set of aliphatic amino alcohols that includes sphingosine. They were discovered in brain extracts in the 1870s and were named for the mythological sphinx because of their enigmatic nature. These compounds play important roles in signal transmission and cell recognition. Sphingolipidoses, or disorders of sphingolipid metabolism, have particular impact on neural tissue. A sphingolipid within a group consisting of a hydrogen atom only is a ceramide. Other common are groups include phosphocholine, yielding a sphingomyelin, and various sugar monomers or dimers, yielding cerebrosides and globosides, respectively. Cerebrosides and globosides are collectively known as glycosphingolipids. Structure The long chain bases, sometimes simply known as sphingobases, are the first non transient products of de novo sphingolipid synthesis in both yeast and mammals. These compounds, specifically known as phytosphingosine and dihydrosphingosine, are mainly C18 compounds, with somewhat lower levels of C20 bases. Ceramides and glycosphingolipids are n acyl derivatives of these compounds. The sphingosine backbone is O-linked to a charged head group such as ethanolamine, serine, or choline. The backbone is also amide linked to an acyl group, such as a fatty acid. Types Simple sphingolipids, which include the sphingoid bases and ceramides, make up the early products of the sphingolipid synthetic pathways. Sphingoid bases are the fundamental building blocks of all sphingolipids. The main mammalian sphingoid bases are dihydrosphingosine and sphingosine, while dihydrosphingosine and phytosphingosine are the principal sphingoid bases in yeast. Sphingosine, dihydrosphingosine, and phytosphingosine may be phosphorylated. Ceramides, as a general class, are N-azylated sphingoid bases lacking additional head groups. Dihydrosyramide is produced by N-acylation of dihydrosphingosine. Dihydrosyramide is found in both yeast and mammalian systems. Ceramide is produced in mammalian systems by desaturation of dihydrosyramide by dihydrosyramide desaturase 1. This highly bioactive molecule may also be phosphorylated to form ceramide 1-phosphate. Phytoceramide is produced in yeast by hydroxylation of dihydrosyramide at C4. Complex sphingolipids may be formed by addition of head groups to ceramide or phytoceramide. Sphingomulins have a phosphocholine or phosphoethanolamine molecule with an ester linkage to the 1 hydroxy group of a ceramide. Glycosphingolipids are ceramides with one or more sugar residues joined in AI squared glycosidic linkage at the 1 hydroxyl position. Cerebrosides have a single glucose or galactose at the 1 hydroxy position. Sulfatides are sulfated cerebrosides. Gangliosides have at least three sugars, one of which must be sciolic acid. Inositol containing ceramides, which are derived from phytoceramide, are produced in yeast. These include inositol phosphorylceramide, mannose inositol phosphorylceramide, and mannose dinositol phosphorylceramide. Mammalian sphingolipid metabolism. De novo sphingolipid synthesis begins with formation of 3 keto dihydrosphingosine by serine palmite oil transferase. The preferred substrates for this reaction are palmite oil CoA and serine. However, studies have demonstrated that serine palmite oil transferase has some activity toward other species of fatty acyl CoA and alternative amino acids, and the diversity of sphingoid bases has recently been reviewed. Next. 3 keto dihydrosphingosine is reduced to form dihydrosphingosine. Dihydrosphingosine is acylated by a ceramide synthase, such as LAS1P or LAS2P, to form dihydrosyramide. This is desaturated to form ceramide. Ceramide may subsequently have several fates. It may be phosphorylated by ceramide kinase to form ceramide 1-phosphate. Alternatively, it may be glucosylated by glucosylceramide synthase or galactosylceramide synthase. Additionally, it can be converted to sphingomyelin by the addition of a phosphorylcholine head group by sphingomyelin synthase. Diacylglycerol is generated by this process. Finally, ceramide may be broken down by a ceramidase to form sphingosine. 
sphingosine may be phosphorylated to form sphingosine 1-phosphate. This may be dephosphorylated to reform sphingosine. Breakdown pathways allow the reversion of these metabolites to ceramide. The complex glycosphingolipids are hydrolyzed to glucosylceramide and galactosylceramide. These lipids are then hydrolyzed by beta-glucosidases and beta-galactosidases to regenerate ceramide. Similarly, sphingomyelin may be broken down by sphingomyelinase to form ceramide. The only route by which sphingolipids are converted to non-sphingolipids is through sphingosine 1-phosphate lease. This forms ethanolamine phosphate and hexadecenal. Functions of mammalian sphingolipids Sphingolipids are commonly believed to protect the cell surface against harmful environmental factors by forming a mechanically stable and chemically resistant outer leaflet of the plasma membrane lipid bilayer. Certain complex glycosphingolipids were found to be involved in specific functions, such as cell recognition and signaling. Cell recognition depends mainly on the physical properties of the sphingolipids, whereas signaling involves specific interactions of the glycan structures of glycosphingolipids with similar lipids present on neighboring cells or with proteins. Recently, simple sphingolipid metabolites, such as ceramide and sphingosine 1-phosphate, have been shown to be important mediators in the signaling cascades involved in apoptosis, proliferation, stress responses, necrosis, inflammation, autophagy, senescence, and differentiation. Ceramide-based lipids self-aggregate in cell membranes and form separate phases less fluid than the bulk phospholipids. These sphingolipid-based microdomains, or lipid rafts were originally proposed to sort membrane proteins along the cellular pathways of membrane transport. At present, most research focuses on the organizing function during signal transduction. Sphingolipids are synthesized in a pathway that begins in the ER and is completed in the Golgi apparatus, but these lipids are enriched in the plasma membrane and in endosomes, where they perform many of their functions. Transport occurs via vesicles and monomeric transport in the cytosol. Sphingolipids are virtually absent from mitochondria and the ER, but constitute a 20 to 35 molar fraction of plasma membrane lipids. In experimental animals, Feeding sphingolipids inhibits colon carcinogenesis, reduces LDL cholesterol and elevates HDL cholesterol. Yeast sphingolipids, because of the incredible complexity of mammalian systems, yeast are often used as a model organism for working out new pathways. These single-celled organisms are often more genetically tractable than mammalian cells, and strain libraries are available to supply strains harboring almost any non-lethal open reading frame single deletion. The two most commonly used yeasts are Sapcaramyces cerevisoree and Schizosapcaramyces poom, although research is also done in the pathological yeast Candida albicans. In addition to the important structural functions of complex sphingolipids, the sphingoid bases phytosphingosine and dihydrosphingosine play vital signaling roles in SRFISOE. These effects include regulation of endocytosis, herbicoid independent proteolysis, cytoskeletal dynamics, the cell cycle, translation, post translational protein modification, and the heat stress response. Additionally, Modulation of sphingolipid metabolism by phosphate adilinositol bisphosphate signaling via SLM1P and SLM2P and calcineurin has recently been described. Additionally, a substrate level interaction has been shown between complex sphingolipid synthesis and cycling of phosphate adilinositol 4 phosphate by the phosphate adilinositol kinase STT4P in the lipid phosphatase SAC1P. Plant sphingolipids Higher plants contain a wider variety of sphingolipids than animals and fungi. Disorders There are several disorders of sphingolipid metabolism, known as sphingolipidosis. The main members of this group are Neiman Pick disease, Fabry disease, Crab disease, Gaucho disease, Tay Sachs disease, and metachromatic leukodystrophy. They are generally inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion, but notably, Fabry disease is X linked. Taken together, sphingolipidosis have an incidence of approximately 1 in 10,000, but substantially more in certain populations such as Ashkenazi Jews. Enzyme replacement therapy is available to treat mainly Fabry disease and Gaucho disease, 
and people with these types of sphingolipidosis may live well into adulthood. The other types are generally fatal by age 1 to 5 years for infantile forms, but progression may be mild for juvenile or adult onset forms. Additional images References External links Sphingolipids at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings